All right, in this video, let's go ahead and learn how to delete when you have a foreign key constraint. So let me go ahead and first add this car right here. So Mazda with ID 13. So I'm going to copy that and then go back to item, paste that. You can see that we have a car and let's also go ahead and add a person. So let me go back to VS code and then open a person.sql. And now let me go ahead and pretty much just grab this line right here. And what I'm going to do is actually format this a little bit. So instead of Omar, let's simply say John and then Smith and then Mel and then the ID. Let's actually give an ID. So ID and then this will be, for example, uh, 9000, right? and email so no email so i'm going to grab that and then go back to item paste that and you can see that we inserted john so if i go ahead and select start from and then person where id equals to 9000 you can see that we have john and select start from car where and then ID equals to and the ID was 13 so 13 and you can see that we have both a a person and a car and you can see that John doesn't have a car so right here it's no so let's go ahead and assign this car right here to John so let's go ahead and simply say update and then person and then set car underscore ID equals two, and this will be 13. So 13 is this one right here, is this ID for this car. And I'm gonna say where, and then ID equals to 9,000. So this is John's ID. Enter, you can see that worked. So if I select John again, and in fact, just let me clear the screen. So select John and also select the actual car. So now you can see that John has a car. Now, if I go ahead and delete this car right here, this will not work. And in the meantime, try and guess what's going to happen. So delete and then from car and then where ID equals to 13. If I press enter and it should be where or oh, actually car, I should have car here and then where. So if I execute this command, you can see that this didn't work. And the reason why it doesn't work is because we have still one person called John which has a foreign key to this car right here with an ID of 13. And the error is update or delete table car violates foreign key constraint on table person. And you can see the detail right here says that ID 13 is still referenced from table person. So this is what I've just said. So basically we're trying to delete this car right here but it is still being referenced by this person called John. So remember, whenever you try to delete individual records, make sure that if there is a foreign key constraint, you need to pretty much remove the foreign key constraint before you perform the actual deletion. I.e. if I want to delete this car right here, I first need to remove the car ID from John and then I can go ahead and safely delete this car right here. So we have two options. One is to actually delete John because there is no foreign key constraint between John and some other table. So we can delete or we can update the car ID to null and then delete the actual car. So let's go ahead and pretty much delete John. So we're going to delete John. So go ahead and delete from person 
again if you want you can update this value to null and that would still remove the foreign key constraint so delete from person where and then id equals to 9000 enter you can see that that worked so if i select and then start from person where id equals to 9000 you can see that we have zero rows back now i can go ahead and delete the actual car so delete from car where id equals to 13 enter and you can see that the car was deleted select from car where id equals 13 and you can see that the car was deleted so a very important topic that you should be aware of and basically you could have a cascade on your table creation and cascade simply ignores the actual foreign key and goes ahead and removes every single row where that key is referenced and the reason why i'm not teaching you cascade is because it's bad practice you always want to have full control of your data and know exactly what to delete because deleting data without knowing what you're doing can be very costly this is all for now if you have any questions on deleting on deleting records where there is a foreign key relationship between tables go ahead and drop me a message otherwise join me in the next video see ya